God has so many great and wonderful and precious promises. One that I stand on faithfully, and that is Philippians 4.19. God promises to supply every need that we have, every need that I have, according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. I reported earlier on an accident that I had in my car. The car was totaled. Uh, insurance company put me in a rental car and initially for a week. I discovered at the end of that week that, um, no, that's when I discovered that the insurance had totaled the car. And they said to me, uh, take another week uh, with the rental and uh, you're just going to have to get your car. And I thought, hmm. I called my agent on my birthday, Monday, April 11th, and that was in 2016, and I explained to him what had happened. And he said, why don't you just come over and look at a car? And I had assumed that I'd not be able to do anything toward getting another car until insurance paid off or did whatever they were going to do. But long story short, I went to the Lexus dealership on this Monday, and when I left the dealership, closed it, 9, 9.30 that night, I had another car. I'd had a 2014. Uh, I wound up with a 2016 that was also an ES hybrid. And what was super amazing is that I had a four-year lease on the car that had been totaled. Uh, the offer made to me for, the, for a new car, a 2016, was was $100. The, the rate was less than, uh, let, me, let me say this right, it was um, less than, considerably less than the lease payment on a four-year lease. This one was on a three-year lease. I thought the salesman and the finance manager had made a mistake, but I decided not to say anything. I just let them go, and they would... Um, learn what their mistake was. But they actually, at some point I inquired, and they said, no, this is actually what it is. So a week later, after the accident, I drove away in a new car with a lesser payment. So then fast forward about three weeks down line, and my insurance company paid Lexus for the car. It turns out that the payoff was almost $7,000 less than what I actually owed. And I found out on a Monday, and I was at home at my desk, and I worried and pondered, now where am I supposed to get $7,000 from? How is all of that going to work out? And after a while, after more than an hour, I called the salesperson at the dealership and I explained what I thought was a serious dilemma. And he just kind of chuckled and said, Charlita, we put gap insurance on all of our leases. He said, you don't have anything to worry about. That insurance will take care of it. And the insurance did. So replacing a car cost me $250, uh, which was what I owe the insurance company, but not a penny more than that. And I wound up with payments, monthly payments, that were considerably less than what I had started with in the former, uh, with the former car. And I realized, okay, God, you've done it again. You've done exceedingly, abundantly above anything I can ask or imagine. And you have supplied my needs according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And that's my thank you, Jesus.